Hello, uh, welcome to uh, the Marvel Collector's Core uh, box unboxing. Uh, box number three, this is August's box. Um, as you can see from it sitting beside me, it's a Secret Wars box. Um, just to address some issues that the Collector Core was having recently, uh, there was a problem. They're no longer supporting PayPal as a method of payment. Uh, they were having major problems with PayPal, which seems to be a thing since PayPal have broken away from eBay and becoming their own company again. Um, so they're not accepting, but uh, in causing that, there was a problem with their back end system where some people didn't automatically get renewed for this box. Uh, come the day of the day before this one was due to close, I still hadn't been renewed either. So, and I didn't use PayPal, I was using direct payment. Um, so I cancelled my subscription and resubscribed within the time limit to get this box. So hopefully uh, there aren't too many people that missed out because of the uh, the mix up with the subscription and the PayPal problems. But um, apologies also for box number two's video being deleted. That was me being stupid and YouTube saying I had uploaded it twice. Uh, went to delete the duplicate and in doing so there was no duplicate so I deleted the actual video and I wasn't refilming it because as people had suggested these are live openings now they're they're not uh, pre-opened so you're seeing it as I'm seeing it so yeah um Secret Wars box Lady Thor uh, aka GM Foster on the front the standard Marvel Collector's Core and the not to three sad onions and all the legal begovens in with Funko and as usual the address on the bottom. As I said, as you can see it's still sealed. So let's crack this bad boy open. Or bad girl being Thor. Um although I'm still a Marvel fan and ironically I'm wearing a Flash t shirt, uh, one of the only DC characters I even care about. DC and uh, Flash and Batman being the only two. Um the rest of the characters I don't really care for. Um, so yeah, uh, although I am a Marvel fan, A, I don't have the time, B, I didn't really have the money. And now that I have the money again, I don't have the time. Um, I haven't been reading comics. Uh, I try to keep up online when I can. Uh, I know what's going on with the Secret Wars Battle World and stuff and that they're rebooting the universe, etc. Obviously with the female Thor at the minute. Falcon is Captain America, Steve Rogers is an elderly man, um, and etc, etc, etc. So, um, the fact that female Thor is on here, you know, obviously we always get a Funko, so... Um, why is this not opening? There we go. Um, again, as usual, uh, print on the inside of the box. Let's see... Again, and we get these every month, but this this time we have a collector's core badge, which has a an Iron Man armor helmet. Um, strangely, it's kind of in the colors of War Machine. It's like grays and silvers, but I'm assuming it's Iron Man. Okay. The patch, which isn't that bad, um, is actually a Sam Wilson as Captain America Falcon, obviously just his head, but obviously got the Captain America sort of style branded behind, and again branded as a Marvel Collector score. I really like these, um, there's a few people had suggested, I think Timey was one of them, uh, Matt had said about putting them onto a board, or into a frame, or something like that. Uh, it was commented on last video, etc, so but yeah, there's those. And as usual, we have the little tab to pull in. First things first, right on the top, is our t-shirt. Uh, let's see. Oh, now this is actually pretty nice. Now this has gone back to the same company that did the t-shirt in box one, which was a really good fit with me. Box 2, the Ant-Man box, there was a t-shirt in it that said Ant-Man, uh, and just that, and then like a little picture that said actual size, and the t-shirt was a lot bigger, even though it said it was a size small, so a lot of people had complained on the board, and they said, yeah, the, these t-shirts were going back to the original, um, 
the original manufacturer. Uh, again, Funko branded t-shirt. But we have a Secret Wars, which has a Lady Thor, Black Suit Spider-Man, I'm assuming that's the Miles Morales uh, Spider-Man, Falcon as Cap, and Iron Man in this sort of chromed out armour. Uh, if anybody knows why or what this armour is, let me know. Um, I actually really like that. That's I wouldn't say I'd have been a fan of. I'm not. I. Everybody knows I'm a big Cap fan, so Sam being Cap really doesn't sit with me. Cap shall always and will always be Steve Rogers to me. Uh, I didn't even really like Bucky as Cap, and and that was a really good run, and it was a really good story, and it was crafted really well. Um, but yeah, I actually really like that for being something that I probably wouldn't have went out and bought. Um, so yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, Oh wow, okay, I've seen what's in the box and I'm really oh, I'm really happy with this. But let's go to this first. Um it's a Secret Wars issue one. It's a Marvel Collector's Core variant uh, cover edition. They're actually ba it's bagged and boarded, so I haven't opened it obviously. But it's uh the cover is obviously a Funko version of Lady Thor. Uh there's a way for me to catch up on Secret Wars, I suppose, issue one. I've heard issue one was actually really good and had a really good twist end uh, and a really, really good end to it. So um, I'm happy. Uh, I'll get to read that. Uh, next, we have two, uh, yeah, two official exclusive pop figures. Um, the first one being Secret Wars Lady Thor. Um, Jean Foster as Thor. It's really nice. I've just noticed there's a little blemish imperfection on the face mask, though. Um, I don't think it's going to show up on the cat. Yeah, you can kind of see it under her eye there. Um, it's not a it's not a break uh, or anything, but yeah, I, I I like that. That's that's pretty nifty. Again. I wouldn't have been a fan of Lady Thor, but I'm happy with that, I'm happy with that. And the second one, which I don't know if I showed the back of the box, but it shows both of them on the back of the box. But it's another one, and these are both uh, Marvel Collector Core exclusives. They're number 97 and 98, although I don't really know what way the, num the numerals on this is, because if you ever search for Funko Pop, there's about five different number ones, so I don't know whether they have a Marvel run that's numbered, just Marvel. Uh, the Harry Potter one, which Kim has got, she got as a gift, is number one. So, um, but yet, as far as I know, that's a new line. So is he number one in the Harry Potter line? Again, not too sure. But anyways, I digress. The second exclusive is uh, Miles, Miles Morales' Spider-Man in the... Yeah, it, it, it kind of looks almost like navy, but I know that it's meant to be black. But yeah, I, I'm, again... I'm very set in my ways when it comes to comics, and my, uh, and Spidey shall always be Peter Parker to me. But I know that the Miles Morales comics are meant to be extremely good, uh, and he is crossing over into the 616 universe, whatever they're calling it, the, the Marvel Prime universe, um, and will be one of the existing Spider-Man characters, uh, one of the Spider-Man family. Uh, after Secret Wars is all said and done and the new universe takes place um, so yeah I'm happy with that I'm not this uh, you know I wouldn't be like oh Miles Morales you know I just I've never read any of his stories I don't love him I don't hate him uh, I just think Pete is quintessentially Spider-Man and probably always will be but it's nice to see some diversity and new versions of the character there and uh, then be good stories so yeah um happy with that too. Uh, inside of the box, a little bit of a divider that we don't normally get. The two figures were just inside as so, with a comic book on top and a t-shirt on top of that. Um, really happy with the contents of this box. Uh, Funko Pops are £15 each. The combined price of the two Funko Pops, if I bought them off the shelves, if they weren't exclusive, is more than I paid for the box, including shipping, 
um, t-shirt. Well, the, well, it's an average t-shirt now, 15, 20 pounds. And then the comics, generally comics are, what, three fifty four pounds um depending on what comics you have to go to two fifty uh as this haven't bought issues recently so I don't know what the rate is on on going on them and the uh the pin and the uh patch uh, always not available and, and as I say they're not a big draw for me in in purchasing these boxes but um I'm happy that that they're in there so yeah that that's that's a pretty good one. Uh, so August Collector Core Secret Wars. Uh, extremely happy with the content there. Um, we wonder what we'll get next time. It, it's bi-monthly, as I've mentioned previously. So August, October is the next box. Uh, so that will be after I return from my my holiday. Uh, for those of you that weren't aware, um, I'm heading to Utah on the 19th of September, uh, only away for just over a week. Um, but while I'm there, I will be attending SLC, Salt Lake Comic Con. Um, SLC, see that should be, Salt Lake Comic Con. Um, I will be cosplaying on the Thursday and the Saturday of the three day event. It's Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Friday, I'm gonna take a break because it's gonna be quite warm out there. Uh, so I don't wanna be melting for three days straight so I'll be cosplaying as Captain America in my uh, Age of Ultron uniform on the Thursday and the Saturday um, I have pre-ordered photo ops to meet Emma Caulfield and uh, Marina Baccarin uh, from Gotham Firefly she does the voice of Gideon and Flash she's, she's, and she's obviously in the upcoming uh, Daredevil movie as a copycat so looking forward to meeting her but the big one uh, before I get to the big one obviously Hayley Atwell was at Lon uh, London Film Comic Con Kim met her and uh, she recorded a video telling me she'd see me in Salt Lake City now she still hasn't officially been announced as a guest but they kind of sort of says yeah she's announced herself although they even don't, they don't have her on the website and you can't pre-order anything I'm looking forward to hopefully, fingers crossed, meeting Haley and getting a picture with her. But the big one, and the, and and we had planned to go to Salt Lake City Comic Con before this even was announced. But I'm getting to meet and have pre-ordered a photo op and autograph session with Chris Evans, uh, the one and only Marvel Cinematic Universe Captain America. Um. I sat at Kim's laptop uh, watching and waiting for these tickets to go on sale. They sold out in less than five minutes. And came over so nicely, sat and kept refreshing and kept refreshing. And I sat with my card details ready to go. And we were able to nab uh, me a photo op and an autograph opportunity uh, with, um, with Chris Evans. Uh, I'm meeting him on Saturday, so I will be in costume. Um, I'm looking forward to a photograph of me dressed as Cap Stan and a sidecap. It's it's going to be awesome. Um, Kim is also meeting Sean Astin, uh, obviously from Hobbit, Goonies, and voicing Raphael in the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon, as well as meeting the twins whose name I don't know, but they played the Weasley brothers in the Harry Potter movies. She's uh, meeting them. There's a load more people going to be there. Uh, they just uh, announced Jenna Coleman from Doctor Who recently. Uh, as well as uh, lots of other geeky things. Even Dan Daniel Cudmore, who played Colossus in the X-Men movies, uh, is going to be there. It would just be a nice, 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 fun sort of like person to meet. Um, but yeah, so I'll have that. Then I'll be coming home to the next box, which they haven't announced uh, a... They haven't announced a theme for. I'm assuming it's going to be comic theme because the next movie isn't until Civil War, which is next May. Fingers crossed the UK gets it in April, the way we always seem to get them about a week or two before you guys. Because um, that would be pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, uh, love this. Looking forward to the next one. And yeah, uh, we'll leave it there. Um, I'll probably do a video when I come back about 
my experiences at Salt Lake City Comic Con uh, just because of who I'm getting to meet and uh, there may be photographs and stuff that follow as well. So uh, we're going to visit Nicole uh, who is convinced I'm going to break down in tears when I meet Chris but I'll not. So for now this is Phil saying take care of each other and I'll see you all on here for the next box. Bye for now.